don't think you're supposed to reclimb over the <laughs> Okay. Yeah, I don't, I don't think you're supposed to climb back over a tree and start over. <laughs> no problem. And there's a sense oh, of truth. I can, it. It. I can do 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 it. It just fails. But, but I... Oh, yeah. I'm on a roll. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Oh no! <laughs> okay, hey, look at the bars. They're like peaking. No. <laughs> oh, I can do it. I can I'm do it. I'm on a roll! <laughs> oh, that happens a lot. That's gonna happen a lot. <laughs> what the heck? I can't wait to try out getting over it. Good morning. It's Proto Dead back again with another Let's Try Out video. So today, we're going to be trying out Getting Over It with Bennett Foddy. So this game is a, uh, is a quite simple game. It's kind of a 2D um, platformer. Um, it's very relaxing. It's meant to uh, to calm you down after a hard day at work or or whatever the fuck it is that you do that stresses you out every day. So you you, you turn on this game instead of turning on like some Barry White or some calm music or whatever it is that some psychopaths listen to. You t you turn this game on and you play it, and this game like it soothes you, right? It calms you down. It keeps everything like it puts you back in balance. It's like it's like pH balancing your gut bacteria or something. No, I'm clearly being sarcastic. This game is uh, absolutely frustrating and uh, it's it it offers you nothing but uh, angst and turmoil and and aggression and it makes you really upset because it's so fucking hard. But yes, to cut it short, it's absolutely frustrating. Let's read the words of the developer. It says, Ugh. A game I made for a certain kind of person oh. to hurt them. Why did I make this? This horrible hike up an impossible mountain. I could have made something you would have liked. A game that was empowering, that would save your progress and inch you steadily forward. Since success is delicious, that would have been wise. Instead, I must confess, this isn't nice. It tastes of bitterness. It's capricious. It sets setbacks for the ambitious. It lacks lenience. It's bracing and inhumane. But not everyone's the same. I created this game for a certain kind of person. To hurt them. This was made by uh, Bennett Foddy and published by Bennett Foddy in 2017, December of 2017. I didn't know it was that um, that long ago, but I would like to point out that it uh, it's called psychological horror. Like one of the user defined tags for this is is psychological horror, um, but it's very positive on the Steam Store right now with uh, over 16,000 reviews being very positive. So this game is uh, is apparently really really fun. To play but uh, frustrating and challenging um, the words of the, de of the developer getting over it with Bennett Foddy is a punishing climbing game an homage to Juzo's 2002 B game classic sexy hiking I've never heard of that I'll have to look into it you move the hammer with the mouse and that's all there is with practice you'll be able to jump swing climb and fly Great mysteries and a wonderful reward await master hikers who reach the top of the mountain. To quote Jizzo himself, or Jazzo, Jizzo himself, the hiking action is very similar to way you would do it in real life. Remember that and you will do well. I think there's supposed to be an extra word in that sentence somewhere. Climb up an enormous mountain with nothing but a hammer and a pot. Listen as I make 
philosophical observations about the problem at hand between two and infinity hours of agonizing gameplay, depending. The median time to finish for my playtesters was five hours, but the mean was closer to infinity. Lose all your progress over and over. <laughs> That's a game feature. These are the game features here. Feel new types of frustration that you didn't know you were capable of. Magical reward awaits hikers who reach the top. Epilepsy warning contains some surprising elements. Um, yeah, let's uh, let's give it a give it a shot. Let's try it out. So this is a single player game only. Today I've got to enlist the help of my son Vincentigrator. Say hi. Hi. Because he's the expert and I'm not. So he's going to show me how to play the game, and we're going to talk about it. Sound good? Yeah. Oh, whoops. Uh oh. Sorry. Technical difficulties. It looks like Blast Bolt is burn one, <clears throat> and in speed burn. One minute, thirteen seconds, and two hundred and twenty-four milliseconds. Oh, okay. It's probably like over a million frames. There's a lot. You like the game? So far, yeah. What happened? You got knocked in the water and died. <laughs> okay. Uh, I, like, knocking into the water makes you, like, about three pixels bigger. Because I feel like there's nothing... I think there's nothing extra other than making you feel better about dying in the water. Mm. I don't think you're supposed to re-climb over the tree. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I don't, I don't think you're supposed to climb back over the tree and start over. <laughs> no problem. Just imagine that. Wait, I have, an, I have an, another getting over it. Like, just imagine there's a mod there's no out there more where, like, than starting over. after you, if you, you your get over the tree, you have to get over the due, tree again, except you have to get over that off. Or if you left your wallet the <laughs> next object, which is that thing, you have to get over those two objects and then get over this money, object. The casino, uh -huh. And then you have to constantly do that all back. over again until if finally you, best shirt dry you, before a wedding, and then immediately drop you have to, like... If you want an you have to with a friend, get over the tree. You have to basically get over everything, and then starting complete over the game. Is harder than starting up. How, how do I just pull the thing up, like, like the hammer up to my chest instead of flipping myself around? Feel free to go away and come back. Hmm. I'll be here. <laughs> yes, guide my hand. <laughs> <laughs> and then he's he got his down. hand on my and on my drag, hand, and I'm on the mouse. Drag down. Down. <laughs> okay. Don't worry. Like, I'm dragging up always. now. And you you drag down. Space. And you do a jump. And, you... <laughs> <laughs> and then you have to listen to this dude <laughs> talk about <laughs> sexy hiking. And you have to talk to me ramble about, about Okay, okay, I can do this. Designers slap them together. The first technique and freely. Uh, learning and how to jump in another direction to gain help. much of a following. They're built more for the joy of building them than as polished products. Oh no! What happened? <laughs> you got you got launched backwards, mate. <laughs> that, that always happens to me, mate. <laughs> now you're stuck. You're stuck, mate. You're stuck again. <laughs> Come on, Dad, you're better than this. <laughs> I can do it. <laughs> how long is this? Oh no! <laughs> how long is this video going to be? <laughs> That's a deep frustration. <laughs> That's like, a deep frustration. They said. put a warning before, like you play. It's like warning. <laughs> my, my dad is is a hyster <laughs> is a laughing hysterically at everything I say during this part. So be warned. You may hear lots of laughter. <laughs> Oh. As I, as he laughs, <laughs> saying "guide to guide my hand," please guide my hand again, child. 
it. What do I do? <laughs> get, get angle for it, except try Blair stuff. You got it. Get angle for it, except trying to beat it with a child's hand over my hand. <laughs> I, I need that. I need that to be a video one day. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh. You guys remember those Thousand Degree Knife videos? <laughs> that happened, like, in 2017 or something? Yeah, we're going to do some of those, too. How many... How... How how many fire extinguishers do you think we have? What are you talking about? In a certain we way, may burn sexy down, hiking is we the We may burn the grass. Okay. It's built almost entirely Let's out focus of on the video. Parts. Yeah. And it's one of the most unusual and unfriendly games of its time. <gasps> In oh. your task is oh, I did it. Up a mountain I've done it. And that act of climbing in the digital world or in real life has oh. certain essential oh, properties that give the game its flavor. How do I? What am I doing? Some cliffs are too There's one guy. Ooh. Yeah. 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 The player is constantly. Yeah. 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 It might take you an hour oh, to get over oh, there. Oh. Let me get past this part. No, I want to do it. <laughs> you, you no, I'm going to do it. You're you going to try to get over the house again? And there's a sense of truth oh, in that. I can do it. 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 just fails. He doesn't even know. He doesn't even know how to control the mouse. <laughs> Somehow you're really good at Tarkov, even though you you don't know how to play a simple game. <laughs> yeah. It has to do with a mouse. That's I'm... because I'm retarded. <laughs> um... Yay. <laughs> 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 no! Somehow I can play a simple game with a mouse, but I can't... But I can't... But I... But I oh, yeah, I'm on a roll! Oh, yeah! <laughs> Oh no! <laughs> oh, hey, God. look at the bars. They're like peaking. No. <laughs> oh, I can do it. I can I'm do on it. a roll! <laughs> oh, wow. That happens a lot. That's going to happen a lot. <laughs> What the heck? Stop, stop laughing over nothing. I got tears streaming down my face. <laughs> yeah, I do. Ah, stop! <laughs> I don't want to taste your tears. They're probably too salty. They're too salty for me. I'm on a low sodium diet. It already felt like my inability to get... I'm on a roll! Oh, no! <laughs> oh, no! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <therapist. laughs> uh, yeah, dude, this this guy, this guy is my therapist. Just imagine that you're laughing hysterically while this dude talking. This dude's, this dude's talking about just YouTube in general while you're laughing hysterically at fails. Oh, oh no! Oh no! <laughs> I'm on a roll! Child takes six minutes and eight minutes. No! <laughs> Oof, Child sorry. takes six eight, and eight minutes to beat two games of getting over a little bed. <laughs> oh, jeez. I can, I can just hear a title. Child takes six minutes to beat a, a getting over it game. Well, the well, dad takes one hour. One hour to give up. Yeah, one hour trying to get over a tree. <laughs> dad takes one hour to get over a tree. Right, again. Dog eats bean burrito in one second! <laughs> There's an actual video of a dude who actually feeds his dog bean burrito in one second. And the comments are, at, are like raging with funny things like dog destroys toilet in one second. Yeah. <laughs> That's what makes me laugh. Raph? This makes you laugh? No, it makes me laugh. <laughs> Dominic probably will destroy the toilet in one second. 
<laughs> That's what makes me hysterically laugh. Dog destroys toilet in one second. I'm on a roll! Oh no! <laughs> I wonder if... No! I wonder if my kids will... Oh. Yay. Do you like the music? Yeah. <laughs> On the road! Oh no! <laughs> Dad can't play his game after 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 Joe says I'm on a roll. Oh no! More time <laughs> I think this is I think this is all the therapy I can stand. I'm I'm a hundred percent done now. <laughs> oh man. That was a hoot. But we're going to have to switch gears here. And now we're going to do one whole session with the pro, Vincent Integrator. And we're going to see uh, kind of what he's got to say about it and kind of how he plays uh, plays around the Bennett Foddy. Because, you know, he beats this like two or three times a day. So we're going to grill him. So start another, start a new game. <laughs> and... Uh... So, what do you think about the... It's a 2D side-scrolling game, right? Yep. So, what do you think about the art uh, style, the art direction, compared to other 2D games that you've played? There's no feeling uh, more intense I actually like it. Starting over. You like it? If you yeah. deleted your homework, the day it's cool. Due, mm -hmm. Pretty realistic. Or if you left your wallet at home, literally you have to go back man. after spending an hour in the look at him. Just look at him. He's ripped. You can put all your winnings on red, but it I mean, black. If you got your this game's right, physics is totally out of whack because not even the world's strongest man can even hold himself up. With a, friend, and then with a hammer like that? They just return to their Maybe pot. not. <laughs> yeah, where's his legs at? Probably all scrunched up. Probably, maybe he doesn't even have legs. He's got those itty bitty legs, like the cartoon superheroes. Also, rest in peace, Cup. Yeah, that Cup, I saw it fall. Hey, uh, what about the sound? How's the sound Thanks work? With me, like, how does it sound to you? I understand if you have to take a break at any time. Oh yeah, that microphone is probably picking up the sound from the headphones. Yeah. Don't worry, I'll save your progress. Hold on. What are you doing <laughs> that for? So I can. Oh, whoops. And you okay. <laughs> so what do you think about the sound? Like, do you think it's lacking anything? The author of that game was Jezor, a mysterious it's chess designer. It literally sounds like someone someone actually went, went outside and found did all these noises. The and, like made all these noises. And freely. And they're often too rough okay, and well, uh, what do you think about the uh, the narrator guy antagonizing you about your uh, about your trip here? And I think in a certain way, sometimes whatever like you're getting through a really frustrating party and keep keep on losing, sometimes he might be a, a little bit annoying. Isn't that the point though? Yeah, to be narrated by Bennett Body. Yeah, I mean isn't that the point for him to be annoying and condescending and stuff? That's yeah. what makes it humorous and also kind of frustrating to have somebody kind of low-key berating you and stuff as you no fail. Yeah. And also talking about useless stuff. He, he gives you, doesn't he talk about the game like the, him making the game as you progress through the level he talks about like this other game by Jazzowo. oh the one that that was this was inspired from yeah it might just call like 60 hiking yeah never got past it prod and poke at it exploring the limits okay. of your reach and your strength trying to find a way up and over and you and, and it's kind of like similar to this game Except it's extremely harder, like a billion times harder, because it's a very poor, poorly made 2D scroller. Right, and, and this game's physics are silly, but when you start to play the game, it feels right. Like, it doesn't feel unpredictable. It's hard It's hard to control. Blue hat. Yeah, no. it's, it's hard to control, for sure, and it's meant to be very difficult, but it's not like the game is difficult because the controls suck ass. It's difficult just because the game's difficult, right? Uh, yeah. yeah. Or maybe, like, maybe it's how, like, how it's, how the game is built. Because he literally says sometimes, look, but I couldn't bring myself to make it easier. 
It already See? felt like my inability Hillary says to sometimes what? Obstacle. Sometimes, it's like, as a player, he creates a new builder. obstacle, it's unreasonably hard, he can't, build themselves he can't, like, he can't get himself to, reach the to uh, make it any easier because he, because he thinks he likes it. Also, is this physics with the, blue, world, with the purple hat? Okay, so you've got to like put that purple hat on the anvil to make it across. You mold your ideas into well, no, but you can, that can be mess around with it. And in the process of playing with them, they begin to harden and set Ooh. until they're immutable, Ooh. like rock. And at that Ooh. point, you can't change the world, not without breaking it into pieces <laughs> and starting fresh with new ideas. I like to sometimes try my best to knock to knock it out of the way. People have been predicting that games would soon be made out of prefabricated objects. And you control this whole game with just the mouse, right? Yep. That's all. That's all you need is the mouse, and you click down the left click button to do anything. Nope. I don't mean they look bad or that they're badly made. Only, unless you're a really furious person and enjoy clicking the mouse button a lot. But it doesn't do anything if you click it. Yeah. So the literally the only controls in this game is mouse movement. And once the mouse yes. is gone, they transform into garbage. Okay. Well, there's this uh secret uh, dialogue if you click the mouse a hundred times. He's, he's saying like, "Whoa, well, buddy, like you're pressing, you're holding the mouse way too hard. I I think you need to like." Relax. Like, like, yeah, relax a little bit. The things that are fresh and untainted and <coughs> when everything around us is cultural trash, so that's a fun little Easter egg. The and and there's also the, uh, the main character of Sexy Hiking, which is, like, this dude only has culture. pants. Games, that's it, just his, a, du a dude's head and legs. Okay. With pants on. Okay. Maybe this is what digital and you can is. find him on top of a rock, of uh, past Ash this, like after the uh. Landfill with everything we ever thought of in it, <laughs> grand, infinite, and unsorted. <laughs> it's kind of hard to get over. There's 3D models of breakfast. After like the, the giant. Novels, scan magazines, green screen, after Shia this LaBeouf, giant. Stuff scenes after alive. this. It's part. like a radio tower. Yeah, after the giant radio. If you get past the radio tower and, and fall down. Car crash, epic you can ships, you find the uh, dude, of McRibs, and he laughs forgotten. and said, "Well," Unrecited. and he just laughs Mother. and says, "Well done." Well, the other way around, he says, "Well done," and then laughs. Oh, everything's fresh for about six seconds until some newer thing beckons. <sighs> and that's and it. Fresh. Yep, but that's it. Well, what's that up there? The pile, out of style, this out yeah. of sight. rock. Okay, so like you, when you get to the end of the level, you've climbed the highest you can climb, and you, now you're now you're floating off the earth into space. Yep. Why make something? And now what? What happens if you don't? What happens if you don't play anymore? Like, do you just continue to go up? Yeah. Look. Games when you they want a lot from you, daunting you, taunting you, setting still talking. Players played stoically. Oh, now you're in space. They want to burn through it quickly. Quick oh my gosh. Fickle, some tricks, clicks of the There's okay. actually like a song he made, yeah. which is, which is like one of the songs he, he plays whenever, you know, I beat it in even less time. Wow. Wow. Okay. Six minutes. Hey, what does this mean? The I saw him piece, I saw him technically slayer that I'm not recording or streaming this and I don't understand that only those who have climbed are welcome. Okay. If you check this, you can do this, and then... There. Okay. I don't get it. What is that? This? Yeah. This is the unofficial bot. But the world record is one minute, jeez. This guy, Bennett Foddy, like, his very calm demeanor... Um, the very relaxing, very in control, um, monotone, maybe not monotone, but his delivery of the, of the narrative really adds a flavor to the experience that is this game. There's no feeling more intense than starting over. If you deleted your homework the day before it was due, as I have, or if you left your wallet at home and you have to go back after spending... The majority of what he's got to say to you, the player, um... It's like a contraindication to the frustration that you're intended to feel as you play this game. So it's it's like a stark contrast between how frustrating the game is to play and then you hear this soothing, almost therapeutic kind of um, uh, like a psychological 
uh, with a psychiatrist as they're talking to you about your problems or whatever. Uh, and and then at the same time, it's also like low key condescending and discouraging because he's just sometimes a little bit insulting. Oh, you just lost a lot of progress. That's a deep frustration, a real punch in the gut. <clears throat> but anyway, the majority of what he's got to say is is genius. All of it's gold. Um, completely, 100% love it. Can't wait to buy the second game. Also, the uh, angles, as, you, as your sledgehammer uh, rubs against the surface of whatever it's making contact with, like, it has a feel to it. Even though you're only moving the mouse around to try to, to to try to like boat or push your guy to get over the obstacles, the hammer itself uh, on the different contact surfaces kind of feels different. Um, when you're when you're climbing against the stone, it kind of has a sort of a, a, a less of a slippage, and then whenever you're on the very steep surface, or maybe when you're on the snow. It's more slippery. Uh, it has less friction to it, so it doesn't grip so much. Uh, I think there's there's a lot of there's some careful care that he took in the surface design, the friction, uh, which which is which is really nice. It is nice. The thing I'm trying to say is that it's nice, but it's terrible too. At the same time, this entire game is terrible because it's meant to hurt us. He even said it in the beginning. He designed this game to hurt people. Well, to hurt a certain person. I don't know who that is. The sound, the sound of the guy, like the dude in the bucket. I don't uh, Dionysus, Dionysus, <laughs> his little his little oofs and opes is pretty funny. Um, I think, I think personally, it probably would have been a lot more comical. To have a lot more uh, noises that he made, um, not unlike what we hear and when we play Happy Wheels, right? So when Happy Wheels, when the uh, the little dudes get get smacked or mangled or hurt or whatever, they make a bunch of noises and say stuff, uh, like the old man says, "Oh my leg!" Whenever he hurts his leg, I think uh, it, I, I would have liked to hear more vocalizations from the from the dude. I, I don't necessarily know if words, if I would want words to come out of his mouth, uh, or rather than just like some guttural fucking screaming and arge and, you know, the, like the sounds of frustration or injury. I think that that probably would have added a whole lot more flavor to it, as opposed to what we've got, which is just the, uh, oh, uh, that he delivers now. From our efforts to climb them. And it's our repeated attempts to reach the summit that turns those mountains into something real. When you're building a video game world, you're building with ideas. And that can be like working with quickset cement. You mold your ideas into a certain shape that can be played with. And in the process of playing with them, they begin to harden and set until they're immutable, like rock. And at that point, you can't change the world. Not without breaking it into pieces and starting fresh with new ideas. Oh. You can't believe it. You're you're the winner. I'm the loser. <laughs> I'm gonna roll. Oh, no. <laughs> we need that one more time. <laughs> All right. Um. So, <laughs> thank you, Van, for helping me with this video. You're welcome. Yeah. You like this game? Yeah. Yeah. Is it worth it? No. It's not worth it. <laughs> don't don't even get this game because it'll be the thing that probably destroys you and makes you unravel at the it, it frays your sanity it'll probably make you laugh at torture it'll make you yeah it'll make you laugh at torture for the rest of your life or maybe it'll, or maybe you'll turn into me hysterically laughing at everything that's unfunny after you start laughing at something that's actually decently funny yeah so this has been getting over it with Bennett Foddy uh, thanks again for joining us with another Let's Try Out video. This is Proto Dead, and this has been Vincentagrader signing out. Uh, 
I am not doing another video. Oh, Please. yeah, you are. You will be. Okay, bye. Fine. Bye. <laughs> If you like this content, uh, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Love and kisses. Yeah, that, that's kind of... Troll's kind of wanky, though, Maybe sometimes. This is what digital culture is. Like, A monstrous mountain of trash. The ashes sometimes the hammer doesn't... Mountain doesn't land, move fast enough, so, you know, of him, you can't really get to the place infinite, fairly quick. Sorted. Or, like, I'm doing right here. There's 3D Speed models of breakfast, Gen X's fanfic novels, scan magazines, green screen Shia LaBeouf, banned stuff scenes on Live League. Facebook's got lifelike bots with unbranded adverts and candid shots of Kanye and Taylor Swift mashups, car crash I mean, epic failed chips, it... Russian dash cam vids, discussions of McRibs, it... discarded, forgotten, unrecycled. It... Muddled, it done yet? Rotten, untitled. Okay, thanks, Ben and Foddy. Everything's fresh for about six seconds until some newer thing beckons, and we hit refresh. And there's years of persevering, disappearing into the pile, out of style, out of sight. Yep. In this context, it's sometimes you uh, content, you do it. Gentle. You do a too big of a jump. Why make something demanding? You're actually it's always in the fear in the of constantly losing your progress, like I'm doing right here. When games were new, they wanted a lot from you. Daunting you, taunting you, resetting and delaying you. Players played stoically. Now everyone's turned off by that. They want to burn through it quickly. A quick fix for the fickle. Some tricks for the clicks of the feckless. But that's yep. not you, you're an acrobat. You could swallow a baseball bat. Now I know, most likely you're watching this on YouTube or Twitch, while some dude with 10 million views does it for you. Like a baby bird being fed chewed up food. That's culture too. I wonder if this video will get actually any But on popular. the off chance that you're playing this, what I'm saying is, trash is disposable, but maybe it doesn't have to be approachable. What's the feeling like? Are you stressed? I actually... I guess you don't if, hate it um, if you got this far, feeling frustrated. If this video were actually, will actually get to is sweet my gal fruit, locked inside a, a bitter pill. million. That's not how uh, I feel about a challenge. A thousand likes. I only want the bitterness. It's coffee. I'm about ten thousand views or something, and like a hundred thousand subs. It feels like we're now. Composer and climber. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Designer and user. Oh, yeah, make sure to like, you could have refused, but you comment, didn't. Whatever, there was something in you that, that was hidden that chose to continue. Yeah, I feel like I'm mumbling by now. It means a lot to me that you've come this far, endured this much. Like, every wisecrack, every insensitivity. Does every single every YouTuber at the end of their videos just say, like, gift. oh, hey, make sure to like and subscribe? Yeah, that's fun. We have the same taste, you and I. It's not ambition. It's ambition's opposite. I like this. An I like this band, the space bar before I beat the game, so, so I can. You'll feel bad if you win. Do it. So I put this snake in for you. Oh. Have you thought about who you are in this? Are you the man in the pot? Yeah, his name is Diogenes. That's how you pronounce it, Diogenes, not Diogenes. Oh, okay, eight minutes. Well. Wow. Sure. Alright. Yay, I'm done.